Hey, so in one of my previous videos, I've been talking about uh, different loot systems. I've been assessing them, and I stated that from my point of view, the best one is a qualified loot console, and I made a spreadsheet for it. And I um, want to show you how this system would work in detail and how my sheet is working. Um, I will also post you the sheet so you can have it. It's made for Udor, 25 men, could be changed. I just want to show you the concept. You may just take the the formulas and uh, the sheet and rework for whatever you need, just to you understand what I think is kind of the ma most progressive and most fair loot system you could do. So that's basically the sheet I did from for a, a private server uh, for Ref of the Lich King progression. Um, you see here a raid roster, so basically every player with uh, his rank here from core, raider, member, social and uh, people that did quit for example. Um, I put in colors according to the class and stuff, like uh, some people had off specs so they are tank and DPS, so we just have your counters, it's very convenient. Here you see like the raids we did. Um, here the markers mark if people attended, been benched or whatever, uh, and uh, here you can see counters for loot they have gotten. So I'm going to, like what I need for my loot uh, distribution, I need data, I need to know uh, who are my most reliable people, how much loot they have gotten, so I'm gonna have this data here. Um, like for every raid there is a sheet where you can see which item went to whom. This is something that ha will have to be filled out. Uh, so for example, here you see you've been using RC Loot Console and we just distributed it and um, uh, marked how it was distributed, right? And here yeah, we filled out this person got this item as a wish. We're not calling it best, we call it a wish list because people on this roster like I could put in here like uh, the person Halo in Halo in uh, 46. There is a wish list. Uh, everyone fills out their personal wish list. Let's go to 36 actually and see if he's there. There he is. And this person can just say like we went for Udo 25 men. I want to have my first most important item is this one. But then I'm going to do... This one is my second important and aim of the faceless. This was my third important. So everyone can choose a wish list. I'm not telling what people's bits are. I made a video describing why there is or is not a real bit. So everyone can choose for themselves what they want to go for and choose three priorities. Um, according to, so uh, the, the items are here in the drop down menu and the drop down menu is linked to a list of items. I did set this actually every item, every boss would drop for uh, Udo R25. This could be something else, whatever you are currently doing. Could be next room as 10 men, 25 men, you can do both. Just fill in the list uh, down there, like yeah, there are enough spots. And people can choose these items in the wish list. Everyone fills out their wish list. Yeah, so people put themselves on the roster, you give them a rank, saying they are core this whatever, check if they're tanks, healers, DPS, and then they fill out the wish list themselves, you check if everything's fine. And the third tab is the so-called loot distribution list. And so you'll find all the items people choose in the wish list here. I already sorted them with a filter, very easy, according to um the item ids i give every item an id so i can easily uh, sort them and it's then automatically sorted according to bosses yeah so um you see let's take a simple if we go to xc02 peach pulser wants this chest and impulse too and here you see a prior number the higher the number the most likely person will get it the first digit is for the rank so i have four ranks the highest rank is Core with four, then we have radar with three, and so on and so forth. So 400 is like it's a core radar. The second number is his personal prior. So like it's his first prior, you're getting 30, second 20, and so on and so forth. And the last number is just um, a quotient uh, attended rates per loot. Yeah. 
So uh, like here I can see also check who got most loot and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this person. And um, so I'm gathering here, first of all, the data of uh, I'm giving like counting people's attendance, indication and uh, performance by giving them ranks. Then I account how much loot they got and how much rage, uh, rates they did. And I also let them put out the wish. And um, the only thing I'm going to do here is like, um, i just going to choose. Uh, if I have these two guys on this, like Peach and Impulse are the same. Uh, so it doesn't matter. I could say one and one, they both get equally and they just roll off or I say two. So you, the loot comes, comes together and just write your numbers. So here, these are like, Sino uh, is getting first, MSE. I'm an easy and rack. That's how we're gonna do for all these items. Like this is full team of uh, 40 people, I think. What do you have like? Uh, let me let me count. So these are 41 people, and these 41 people had wishes for um, 117 items. Initially, it's a bit of work to go through the 170 items, but some items will be only choose like this one is only by Vita. To chosen by Vita, right? So some items will be easy, some items will be hard, but you choose before it who is getting the item. And this is the cool part. So people wish what they want to have and you choose in which order they're going to get it. Uh, here you see like the cool calculation, uh, like prior rank 300, that's the wish according to the item, which is taken from the wish list, but it's all like formulas as you can see. I like I do nothing here, it's just just filter according to what people did fill out. And the ratio loot gotten to uh to attended rates. But you can just so if you're in the raid, the item drop, you're not even asking people. You could just distribute it. Or you just tell people to vote in RC loot console so you can still have a double check if you're not doing something wrong, because in RC Lucas, you could even see for whom it's a bigger upgrade, something this list doesn't count in. Yeah, But you can choose according to the list, and then if you like, as a loot console, you decide not according to list, because it's a bigger upgrade, you can write the person and say, mate, you are first on the list, but are you fine with me giving it to this person because it's a bigger upgrade for him? He can still see yes or no, and then you distribute it. But you, the system is 100% transparent. All the data is open to your guild members and um, you choose in advance, not on the spot, by a qualified uh, co council, people coming together. They don't have to do uh, a hard discussion during raid. They do it before. <clears throat> so this is basically it. It's, it's a predefined loot distribution list. We could make it differently so people don't make it that high sophisticated. But I always say defining, deciding before raid, discussing before and after it. This is how you speed up a raid and this is how you make it transparent and fair. Okay, You can still choose here badly but at least you can talk about it. So this is from my point of view like the most best way to go for it. If you like it, leave me some comments, tell me what you like, tell me how to improve it. I always love to improve. Um, you could even use this as like people signing up themselves, but just marking I'm going to come or I've been be benched or whatever, or uh, somebody missed unexcused. See, it's all, all uh, <laughs> implemented here. <clears throat> so uh, subscribe, leave me some comments and... Uh, I hope to see you for some more videos.